Hey there, Internet. I made a couple videos about SLA printing gears, and I just wanted to do a quick follow-up. Um, I had, I've definitely had a mixed bag of results uh, with, with, you know, some of it's due to me. Like this, the split here, I think, is a just an exposure time issue. Um, there's just some settings issues, but there's there's some general strength problems, and I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. So this this gear, um, you'll see there's a big there's a big weird thing here on the bottom, and the reason for this is uh, this broke, but it was filled on the inside with resin, and so I had to I had to cure the excess resin out of the middle of this. That's my fault. Um, the Chitu box hole drainage does not work the way that I would expect. So I, I did try to put drainage holes in here, but they didn't work anyway. Uh, the real problem with this gear is that it's completely cracked in pieces. Um, I had this running on my lathe, and the lathe has a very aggressive uh, braking. I mean, it stops on a dime. And so you've got a, you know, six, six to 10 pound chuck uh, spinning at a high RPM and then you stop it really, really, really quickly. Um, a bunch of those forces are going to be driven into the, to the, to the pulley here. And um, this, this just split apart and then started leaking nasty resin all over the place. So this is the, the standard type resin that's made for high detail. So if you're going to do some casting or something along those lines, uh, that's this kind of resin. And it's, you can, it's soft. You can scratch it with your thumbnail. So it, it's not hard. It's very brittle and it's not really designed for this kind of stuff. But the next stuff here, this is a uh, Soraya tech blue and, um, the exact same thing happened uh, on on this one here. Now I had a problem with this print where uh, the, I, I didn't have the full structure on one side, so that might have had something to do with it. But um, the, the the other thing is in my design, you can see right here I have a ninety degree angle on the keyway. That's a that's a stress riser, and that's right where it broke. So that also is maybe my my own fault, um, but it, it really couldn't handle uh, it couldn't handle that stress. Um, it didn't wear. Um, that's there's just some residue from the belt, but uh, you know there's not noticeable wear. You know I I, I think I've never seen a, a pulley fail like this, um, a printed pulley or any other kind of pulley. So I just think the material's maybe not strong enough. Um, it's possible with more infill that um, that you wouldn't see this failure behavior. But we'll move on to our next our next demonstration here. So this is a, a, a different pulley I made for my electronic lead screw, and you can see here the the force. Um, the, the the force of this nut driving away from the shaft uh, split it right 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 in half here. So you know, unless it's a perfect fit and you've already got you know you can you can um, well this this even has the the D in it. Um, even with this D, there's still slop, and if you want to have low backlash, you can't just you, you you're not just going to be able to. Um, you know, slide this on and, and have it work. You're going to have to, you're going to have to torque something down or you're going to have to design it with a taper. So that, that also didn't work. This is also the same Soriatek blue. And here's a, here's a, here's one that is, you know, that, that it's beautiful. I mean, the details is really amazing. And it's, it's, again, the, the slicer software doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I think it's full of, nasty uh, monomer but um, yeah this is the way it's supposed to look uh, with a different uh, board diameter now the the most ideal thing that you can do with the pulley here is just buy one 
and you know you can you can this one I had to uh, bore out to 50 mil, 15 millimeters but that works you could definitely do that these are you know 10 12 bucks a piece when you get into large pulleys you know an aluminum pulley this size this could be a hundred bucks um, which is you know if you're doing a prototype is a lot of money now the great thing about technology is you can print one of these for you know for pennies and uh, they come out pretty darn good and they have pretty good grip on the belts and they seem to be fairly accurate. Uh, you can also do smaller pulleys. So, so these, these are easy to make. They, they don't take that long. Uh, you can have a pretty large layer height to speed up the printing. Um, you, I wouldn't say you can go much bigger than a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Uh, but th these definitely work well and I haven't seen one fail but like... Um, like the uh, the SLA printed type. Now these the, these are much more accurate um, dimensionally, and they're um, they're they're just overall much much higher quality as far as the you know all the details of the part. But because of the way that the filament goes down here, um, these are these are much stronger. The final option. And this is something I just recently discovered that hopefully um, somebody can get some benefit out of is you can get this stuff. So this is um, this is called pulley stock. And so if you do a search for pulley stock, there's a few companies that will sell you a 12 or longer inch piece of this. And then what you do is if you have a lathe, you can just center center drill your hole here. And then cut off whatever length that you need, and um, you're, you're ready to go. And if you look at the construction of one of these, they're actually multiple pieces. So the center piece is is turned down from the pulley stock, and then this is kind of like a press fit washer. So there's a little relief that gets cut in here, and this gets just gets put on the side, and the same thing on the other side here. So these are multiple pieces. You can do the exact same thing. With this pulley stock in your lathe, if you want to, if you want to go ahead and put these um, retainers on. Um, as far as the uh, the set screws, pretty easy operation to do in a milling machine with a collet block, and you can, you know, for larger belts, you can just go ahead and uh, put a hole right down through the middle of one of the teeth, and it's not going to have a huge impact on um, on the part. Um, and it'll, it'll save you some some space this way. You just have to be you have to just carefully deburr it and make sure you're not rubbing on the belt. So I think this is the best option. Um, second best option is PET G uh, printed or PLA. Third best option. Fourth best option is the Soriatech Blue. And I wouldn't even try anything else. So that's just some practical experience on making pulleys at home. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the capability to cut my own pulley stock yet. Um, that is something I would like to be able to do. I wish I had a, a, a shaper or something along those lines and I can make my own gears. But anyway, thanks for watching and I hope that you, uh, you'll save a little money buying some pulley stock.